We've been talking about AMD's upcoming offering Ryzen an awful lot lately, but what about the Intel side of things, that being the Skylake X and KB Lake X processors? According to the latest leak from Benchlife, they have reported that the new enthusiast processors will be making their way onto the actual market and into people's hands after Gamescom 2017, which of course, as always, will take place in August. The lineup for the launch will include at least four SKUs that will of course be making their way to the X299 platform. As we've previously reported, all processors will be making use of the 14nm process node, however KB Lake X will have a bit of an edge over Skylake due to its process optimizations, which would basically result in reduced power consumption, added efficiency, and of course, better clock speed. You might be wondering, well, what variations are we going to be seeing with those four SKUs? They're going to be a 10-core, 8-core, 6-core, and 4-core models. The 10, 8, and 6 cores will be based on the Skylake architecture, and the 4 model will be based upon the Cable Lake architecture, which of course launched on mainstream platforms earlier this month. As for the actual impacts that Skylake X is going to be having, they're going to be featuring a TDP of 140 watts, whereas the Cable Lake X chip, chip will have a TDP of 112 watts, and of course they're all going to be within the i7-7000 range. Now what's really interesting is that CDTL is going to further say that all four of these processors that I've already discussed are not actually X-series chips, but rather K-series. Now, there isn't any confirmation on this, but it could mean that there's not going to be any extreme addition of these at launch, but means that potentially it could be later on down the line, of course, it could be they're available at launch and it's kind of that's that, or it could be literally what I just said, but if indeed there is no extreme addition available at launch, that does mean the cost of the 10 core model may, might be slightly lower than that of the i7-6950X. And further, according to Benchlife sources, Intel has been slightly modifying their cache system in order to provide a bit more balance to the lives of the performance side of the CPU. Now, of course, these offerings are going to be the direct competitor to Ryzen and are expected to launch in Q1 of 2017. Of course, we've got Coffee Lake coming in 2018 followed by Coffee Lake X. But regardless, what's more important is that these enthusiast variations are going to be going head to head with Ryzen. So while Ryzen definitely looks pretty awesome from what we've seen so far, Intel of course is not gonna let it go unchallenged. Who comes out the victor? Well, we're gonna have to wait and see what Ryzen has to offer of course. And given that the Intel core this X chip, should I say, doesn't come out until August. And of course, we don't yet know exactly when Ryzen is going to be releasing. AMD have, of course, said it's going to be Q1 2017. So Ryzen is definitely going to have a bit of a head start on these offerings from Intel. So it's definitely going to be very, very interesting indeed. Thank you very much for watching, though, guys. As always, your support is really appreciated. And I'll see you next time.